Today on Seattle Refined, Darth Vader sipping some tea and stormtroopers on a bicycle built for two. I posted online and the internet went crazy and yeah, and I was like, oh, this could be a thing. A local artist turns a crazy late night idea into an out of this world business. Then. And at the core, really, look at this relationship between mother and daughter and, and how different they are and yet how entwined. And what is, what is true wellness? The Seattle rep digs deep in a new dark comedy that will leave the audience with something to think about. Plus... Last time I was eating them, I just had to close my eyes and with each bite. It was just very tasty. The wow factor at a top Seattle spot that's run by a James Beard Award winner. And a big announcement for our Refined Book Club members. Seattle Refine starts now. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Seattle Refined. I'm Guard Swanson. Today, we're coming to you from our sponsor, Filson's Flagship Store in the Soto neighborhood of Seattle. And take a look around. This place is impressive. For more than a century now, Filson has been the premier manufacturer of tough, comfortable outdoor clothing and it's based right here in Seattle. There's a lot of cool stuff we can't wait to show you down here. But first, in less than two weeks, Hollywood will dress to impress at the Oscars as they'll honor the best films of 2016. But if you're a Star Wars fan, it's all about 2017. The highly anticipated The Last Jedi will come out this Christmas. Ask any Star Wars fan, and they take these movies very seriously. But we found one local fan who has a little fun with the Force. So what do you think they're thinking in that photo? I don't know. I was always wondering why they're fighting all the time, so they have to be doing something when they're not fighting. They have to be taking a break in some way. Like these fellows on a, on a bicycle. It's kind of adorable, actually. Just hanging out. I like that one because it's kind of ambiguous. Like, you don't know if it's a date. You don't know if it's, like, what they're doing. <laughs> and what about this gentleman with the teacup? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know how you drink it through that mask. The force. That's always the answer. Kyle Hagee is a digital artist, creating lifelike images on his computer from scratch. Did you go to school for this? No. I, you, YouTube. YouTube was my school. I call it a YouTube degree. He says it took him seven years of trial and error and late nights to get as skilled as he is now. But his big break came completely by surprise. Well, the first one I did was a complete accident. I was just kind of messing around one night, and I wanted to make like a flowery field. So I did all big flowery field and I wanted to test the lighting. So I decided to import a uh, C3PO that I did. I started posing like this because it was like 5 a.m. and I was like kind of loopy. And so I thought, oh, that looks pretty good. So I posted it online and the internet went crazy. And then I was like, oh, this could be a thing. Now it is a thing. Kyle says sci-fi fans go nuts for Yoda giving the one finger salute or Boba Fett brushing up on his knitting. He sells the images on his website and in person at the Fremont Market. People, they say all kinds of things. Uh, my favorite is when they don't, they don't say anything and they just look. They like look at it and then they look away and then they look back. Kyle says he creates everything you see in these pieces, from the grass on the ground to the gleam of Darth Vader's highly polished helmet. It's completely CGI. So all the flowers, the mountains are all CGI, all the clothing. Yeah, it's really cool what computers can do now. And, the level of technology, I mean, it's crazy. Kyle says 3D modeling can be a real challenge, but now his years of hard work are paying off and paying his rent. So do you ever worry about George Lucas or Disney getting <laughs> a hard time over this? Uh, I did for a little bit. Um, I talked to a couple people at Disney, and they all loved it. Um, the lawyers I've talked to, they said this is this could be considered parody. So like how Weird Al does song parodies or... Um, SNL does Donald Trump skits. Uh, they said doing parody uh, is considered fair use. No, what does I, that mean? It means Kyle says he'll keep showing the world the lesser known, more delicate side of some of sci-fi's greatest villains and heroes. I just like doing it. John Prentice, Seattle Refined. To check out Kyle's Star Wars art, head to seattlerefined.com. That artwork would be a perfect gift for that special Star Wars fan in your life. But we also have some other ideas on our website. Check it out. 
We have the perfect gift guide for Star Wars fans up on SeattleRefined.com. From Star Wars Legos, socks, and even bean bags, we've got you covered. May the force be with you. We're at our sponsor, Filson's flagship store in Soto. And I don't know about you, but I could try on clothes and shop here all day long. And the one thing that's really cool about Filson's designs is that you could wear them on the trail or even for a night at the theater. Hello. And speaking of theater, a dark new comedy just opened at the Seattle Rep. It's called Well, and it will have you thinking long after you've left the theater. In Seattle Rep's latest production, Well, Tony Award-winning writer Lisa Cron takes us on a hilarious theatrical exploration. At the heart of it, she's exploring integration and what that means in all of its forms, whether it's how do um, people who are well understand people who are sick and how do they integrate with each other. And, and, and her mother has always been sick her whole life, and she had this sort of same sick things as well in these, she calls it a family mystery illness, so it's sort of um, allergies, uh, problems staying awake, problems with movement, and she gets better and her mother stays sick. I was confused and miserable because... Sarah Rudinoff has performed in Seattle for 20 years. She plays the author on stage. I had heard about the play and I'd read about the play and I knew about Lisa Cron. I do solo shows and I knew about her as a solo performer and some of her scripts and had never read it and reading it. It's just so funny and so smart and so touching. Lisa kind of rolls out the story in this wonderful way and she casts an ensemble to sort of play different parts in the allergy unit that she goes to in college when she sort of gets better and uh, she has an actress playing her mother on stage and she brings her mother's entire living room from Lansing, Michigan onto the stage. So her, this is sort of the mother's corner is her fabulous Afghan and her <laughs> lazy boy recliner. And so it's sort Excellent of, yeah, taste. <laughs> excellent taste. <laughs> so that's, you know, it's, it's a wonderful kind of look at this and at the core really a look at this relationship between mother and daughter and, and how different they are. Beloved Seattle rep actor Barbara Durickson plays Lisa's mother. It's a really very interesting play because it says you can't make sense of any of this, but there's a rightness about it that illness and wellness and uh, uh, relationships uh, in uh, uh, between blacks and whites and Hispanics, whether it's messy or not, it's all important. And right now, with everything that's going on, it's pretty magical just to hear it. Dirksen moved to Los Angeles 15 years ago, but she says this role was worth coming back for. Because it speaks to what's going on right now. The thing that I love about it is that it, it basically tells you all the messiness can come together and make a happy community if you just calm down and listen. Well, runs at Seattle Rep through March 5th. For ticket information, check out our story on our website, seattlerefined.com. <laughs> Seattle Refined is just getting started. Coming up, we can't put it down. Refined's book club ramps up with one of our favorite reads ever, and it's not too late to join. But first, beer on a budget, the cheapest spots to grab a pitcher in the city. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to Refined, I'm Gard Swanson. Well, I'm sitting here relaxing in front of the fireplace at our sponsor, Filson's flagship store in Soto. If you've never been down here, you need to check out this place. It's absolutely fabulous. And if you don't know the Filson story, it's about time you did. So we're celebrating our 120th birthday this year. Filson was actually founded in 1897. So just eight years after Washington became a state. Um, and the company really came into being because C.C. Filson, who was an individual who had moved out from the Midwest, came here and started filling a need of prospectors who were heading up to Alaska for the gold rush. Do you think anybody would have figured that, okay, this guy's gonna come out here, he's gonna start this little company, and then, and then you guys are still here. I mean, it, it's just... There aren't a lot of companies like that in the Northwest. There aren't. There are actually only three Seattle companies that started during the gold rush. And one was Bartell Drugs, the other was Nordstrom, and the third was Filson that are still around today. You guys just keep, you, you adapt and you morph and you just, it just keeps rolling. One of the great things about the product is that it really is timeless. 
And so we pride ourselves on not chasing trends and not trying to really be fashionable, but continuing to make really great product that works for every different outdoor condition. You know, when you walk around Filson, Nathan, I know you know this, everything's quality, especially this coat right here. Exactly, that's what drew me to the brand, actually, Gart. This is, uh, this is actually our wool Mackinac Cruiser. We actually patented the design for this in 1914. We've been doing it the same way ever since. Yeah. Wow. That's when it was designed yeah, and it's still red hot. It, yeah, it's actually our best selling garment and it's great because we see, you know, they get handed down from generation to generation. I'll see parents come into the retail stores with their 16, 17 year old kid and it's like, here's your first Filson jacket. It's a Mackinac Cruiser. It's wow. pretty neat. Let me ask you about this. So a couple minutes ago, I picked up this jacket right here and it's heavy and the materials it's, I, I've never felt this kind of material. What, what is this? Yeah, so that's our, that's our, what we call our tin cloth. It's a wax cotton. It's a very densely woven uh, cotton duck, and it's been saturated with an oil and wax mixture that mm -hmm. makes it very, very water repellent. Wow, exactly. and, then, and this is brand new here, right? Yes, this is a, uh, what we call our shuxin. This is a wool blend fleece, and this is a piece that we brought out uh, just this season trying to appeal to a little bit broader market. So it's a little bit lighter weight, but still gives that good fill some durability and gives great protection for as a layering piece. And then you could probably stuff a couple jackets in this thing, right? Absolutely. Tell me about this. So this is our rucksack. This is one of our uh, first luggage pieces we brought out back in the early 90s. We're using bridal leather. It's the same leather that they make saddles and tack with in the equestrian world. And so once again, no compromises in the materials that go yeah. in Yeah, You can just feel that quality. Yeah. You know, you can talk about all the Filson quality, but this might be the coolest part of the store right here. <laughs> it absolutely is. So we're standing in the Filson Restoration Department, and this is a working workshop that exists only in our flagship retail store. And the entire purpose of this team is to actually remake bags that have come back to us. So if I buy a bag, and I use it for 10 years, and it rips, and I say, hey, Filson, I got the bag here. What, what, what do you guys do? We'll take it back for us. Um, we'll try and repair it, so we'll evaluate the bag, we'll see if we can repair it and give it back to you. But if for some reason we're unable to repair it, we'll actually send you back a brand new bag for free. And instead of throwing that bag away, we'll bring that bag here to this restoration department. And then they will actually go through and stitch and patch all of those pieces. Yeah. And then they rebuild the bag with, you know, kind of unique elements to it. So there's a lot of stitching, a lot of character that's been added to these bags. Um, and then we resell them here in the flagship store only with and another lifetime guarantee. Wow. Phil Philson's all full circle, isn't it? I mean, you buy it for life. Absolutely, you know, and that's part of our, like I said, our lifetime guarantee. It's so important to us that our customers build that level of trust in the quality of the products that we have. Like and that's it. one of the reasons we, you know, try and manufacture as much as we possibly can right here. One other Filson fact, they provide much of the wardrobe that I wear here on the show. So if you like the outfits you see or just want to learn more about the Filson story, log on to our website, seattlerefine.com, and learn much more. Clothes aren't always necessary if you're in the comfort of your own home. Check out the article on SeattleRefined.com. It shows what Seattleites eat in their underwear. We're talking about top takeout orders and deliveries. The data was collected by food delivery app Caviar. Surprise, surprise, the top takeout is Thai food, pizza, and sushi. To see the list, head to our website. Grab your friends and enjoy a pitcher of beer without breaking the bank. We've listed the five cheapest spots to grab a pitcher of beer in Seattle. Some suds are as low as seven bucks. Head to seattlerefine.com to check out the list and cheers to you and your wallet. Coming up, a top chef teases the taste buds of folks in Seattle one tiny bite at a time. The restaurant that has people talking. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Seattle Refined. I'm Guard Swanson. We're in South Seattle at our sponsor, Filson's flagship store. And behind me is where they manufacture all of Filson luggage. So when it says made in the USA, they mean it. It's all done locally. Locally grown fruits and vegetables are a common thing here in Seattle, but there are some chefs who take it to a whole new level. Washington Grown's Christy Gorenson found one Capitol Hill spot where the fresh ingredients turn everyday dining into a one-of-a-kind experience. Our first stop of the day is at Poppy, a unique restaurant in Seattle. 
here, owner and chef Jerry Tronfeld combines his love of cooking with fresh herbs and spices with the East Indian style of serving a variety of small dishes on a platter known as a tali. I love it. I can try a bunch of different things, try a bunch of different flavors. I'm sort of just coming into my own with trying a bunch of different kinds of foods that I haven't really had before. And this is a great way to be able to do that. All these small plates that you can try all at the same time. It's not enough to really fill you up, but enough so that you have a little bit of exciting change between each bite. Last time I was eating them, I just had to close my eyes and with each bite, it was just very tasty. Before he started Poppy, Chef Jerry was the executive chef at the Herb Farm. And while he was there, he wrote two cookbooks and won a James Beard Award. I sat down with Chef Jerry and asked him where he gets his inspiration and drive from. It was sort of my mission to teach people how to cook with fresh herbs because when I was growing up, everybody just used dried herbs. What do people say when they, when they taste your food with all these fresh flavors? I think people have a lot of, of fun you know, eating here. It's not just the, uh, <laughs> the chicken entree or the piece yeah, of fish yeah. on a plate. Uh, when you order a tali, you have many, many different flavor combinations. A lot of times people discover new flavors that they haven't tried before. Local ingredients, does that inspire dishes that, oh, that you Oh, absolutely. Make here? We get our fresh sheets from local farmers. You know, a couple times a week, they'll send us lists of what they've got at their farms. And my chefs and I will sit down and we'll think about what's at its best right now, what we really want to cook with. And um, kind of like a puzzle, we'll kind of pair things together. Make sure to tune in every Wednesday to see more reports from our partners at Washington Grown. Hey, look at that! We'll be right back. But first, check out our refined, shareable moment of the day. Welcome, everybody, to the 16th annual No Pants Subway Ride. Spring is right around the corner, and that means time to think about sprucing up your home. And there's no better place for remodeling, outdoor living, the latest technologies, and more than the Seattle Home Show. The event is the Northwest's largest consumer home show featuring hundreds of exhibits. The Seattle Home Show runs from February 18th to the 26th at CenturyLink Field Event Center. Welcome back to Refine. We're getting ready to wrap up our show here at our sponsor, Filson. But first, we're in the middle of one of our most exciting reads in the history of Seattle Refine's book club. Hey guys, I'm Britt Thorson, managing editor of SeattleRefine.com. And when I'm not watching The Bachelor, I'm reading. In fact, right now I'm in the middle of This Is How It Always Is, which I bet a bunch of you are too. After all, it is our February book this month. Now I won't give too much away, but what I will say is that we are halfway through if you're reading along and I love it so far. The pain that I feel for the family of trying to love their son as he tells them that he wants to be a girl when he grows up, but still understanding that out there in the real world, it might be a little bit harder for him than just saying those words is really, really heartfelt. If you want to come and talk with us about it on March 1st at our book club discussion, email us, hello at cialrefine.com, and keep reading. Part three should be done by next Wednesday. All right, that'll do it from Philson. I'm Gard Swanson. We'll see you next time right here on Seattle Refined.